just recently, we dropped the video showcasing the new Claude Code Ultra update. But it looks like we already have a brand new official release from the Anthropic team after months of development with the launch of Claude Code 2.10. And yeah, they just casually did a drop after 1096 commits to get here. This is a massive update that's packed with seriously impressive features with the launch of automatic skill hot reloading, you have forked sub agents, flash commands for skills, hooks in skill front matter, as well as a native shift plus enter multi-line input. On top of that, we also have asynchronous agents, LSP support, and a whole lot more under the hood. So let's just dive straight into it. For those who do not know what Claude Code is, it's an agentic terminal-based AI coding agent, and honestly, it's one of the most remarkable tools that's out there right now for helping you code faster, smarter, and with way less friction. To start off, the Claude Code team has just open sourced the exact code simplifier agent that they use internally. You can start using it using the Claude plugin install code simplifier command, which I'll leave in the description below, or you can simply just install it through the plugin marketplace. This agent is perfect for using at the end of a long coding session or when you're dealing with messy, complex PRs that need cleanup and simplification. Just ask Claude to run the code simplifier agent and it will refactor, clean up, and make everything far more readable. This is definitely a great tool that you can now start using and you can get the open source repo in the description below. Next is an older update that I didn't really cover in my last video and it's something that's been out since November 24th that a lot of people are starting to find out about right now. You can use Cloud Code directly within the Cloud Desktop app and this way you get a better GUI experience. You would obviously need a Cloud account and you need to simply download Cloud Desktop. All you got to do is just switch over to the code mode and you can just toggle that code button and you're going to be able to now use Cloud Code directly within the Cloud Desktop app. And this is, I believe, a pretty important update because now you can directly work with your local files in a better GUI experience that is powered by Cloud Code and it's fully supported and maintained by Anthropic, which is also great. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, moving into one of the newer features that was just recently released, which is the added automatic skill hot reload feature. And this is definitely a nice convenient feature that has been added where once you have added the skill directly from the session, you don't need to restart the session. You can just simply start working right away with the new skill that was added. So that way it makes it faster to refine reusable tools and commands on the fly. And to complement this, they have also introduced forked sub agents that allow skills and slash commands to spawn independently within isolated contexts. And this is through the context fork in the skill front matter. Overall, this will enable parallel task execution as well as safe experimentation without risking pollution of your main agent state or conversation history. Recently, we had talked about how Claude Code had introduced asynchronous sub agents that work in the background until a task is complete. But now they have made it so that skills are also applicable and attached to these sub agents. And this is a pretty big thing because now skills can be deployed to multiple agents to accomplish various sorts of tasks. And you can even add an async flag, which is a new feature, or use the control plus B command to detach them. And they'll keep grinding independently, even if the main agent wraps up or if the session idles, or if you jump into new work. This is perfect for long running tasks like monitoring logs, builds, or tests without blocking anything. It is tied straight to the new skill, hot reloading and custom agent support within this new release that lets you build reusable skills that fire off fire and forget sub agents effortlessly. And overall, this will turn your terminal into a full multi-threaded agent orchestration. Something cool that was just recently added is that you can now easily config Claude Code's output styles and it is highly underrated because it lets you completely shift how the agent responds, perfect for different workflows or experience levels. You can by default have a straight to the point config that has no fluff, pure focus on efficient coding and task completion. But if you want to enhance this even further, you can have an explanation config that adds educational insights and this is something that you can easily predefine within the slash config command 
or with the output style command and add in a different set. It's something that you can do easily and it is a quick level up because you can toggle them in different sessions and different use cases to get the best output style. If you do not know by now, Claude actually works within your browser, specifically Chrome. This is a pretty big new feature where Chrome browser is fully integrated with Claude code. You can launch and control a real Chrome browser directly from the terminal where you can let agents navigate pages, inspect content. You can even have it fill out forms, interact with the web app, as well as something that is a part of your coding flow, which you see on the screen right now. This is through the Claude extension, but you can still have that deployed from the Claude terminal. It is something that is huge because you can have end-to-end -end debugging testing, as well as verifying auth flows and dashboards, and scraping and validating live data during development. So instead of just switching between the browser dev tool, as well as the terminal, Claude code can now operate across all three. You can code, terminal, as well as browse. Because instead of just having a single agent loop, you have way more flexibility, which is going to definitely increase efficiency. And with this combined async sub-agent process, you can now have one agent that could be coding while the other agent watches a live web flow in Chrome that reports back to the other agent. It is truly a game changer. Something cool they added, a pretty subtle new feature is with hooks. You have hooks for agent skills as well as slash commands. You can add the pre-tool use, the post-tool use, as well as a stop logic directly in the front matter. A couple of other small things is that they have added a language setting to configure Claude's response language to other sorts of languages that are available. You can even add custom languages to Claude code. You also have an improved WIM motion as well as keyboard handling for fixed word navigation and added repeat mentions. Another cool thing is that agents can now persist after denied tool use. So sessions no longer halt if you deny a permission. One of the most slept on new features in Cloud Code is the Ask User Question tool. And it's pretty insane because instead of just guessing what you mean, Cloud can directly ask you clarifying questions during the coding session. So if you're unsure about a function, a variable name, or a desired feature, it pauses and gets the exact input from you, like a dev pair that always double checks before committing. You can enable this within the settings, and it is essentially going to get you cleaner code. Because of the refinement of questions, you're going to have fewer bugs and way smarter automation. You're basically giving Claude a better interactive understanding of your intentions, which makes the output better for quality. I did this in my last Claude update video and you guys really loved it because I was able to spotlight some helpful tools that you guys can easily get started with and it enhances your Claude experience even further. Now, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with any of these projects, just trying to help you guys out. One of these tools is Claude Mem, which helps you have persistent memory built within Claude code. Another one is AutoCloud, which I already made a full video on. This is a better GUI, in my opinion, that you can use with Claude code. And you also have a lot of cool new features to deploy sub agents to get the best out of Claude code. You also have Ralph, which is something that I made a video on. It is going to consistently and persistently get the best generation out of Claude code. Now, I made videos on these two things, so I'll leave these links in the description below. But these are all three remarkable repositories that will enhance Cloud Code even further. Now, a really cool, subtle feature is that if you are running a session within the terminal, say if you want to transfer over whatever is happening to Cloud Desktop, for example, you can simply just use the slash teleport command and it is going to be able to be transferred over to another session. This will basically allow you to transfer over the session ID to a remote session, whether that's through the desktop or through the online cloud chatbot. Now, if you do not know, Boris is the cloud code creator, and he has created this thread on X, which I'll also leave in the description below with a bunch of setup tips. These are pretty important tips that will enhance your usage of cloud code from something like using a special command or to enhance a subagent's quality, or just to improve the overall GUI even further with a couple of different setups. I definitely recommend that you try this out with a couple of tips he has recommended, which I'll leave in the description below. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord, where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis.
plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. Now, I'll be honest, there's a lot more to this, so I definitely recommend that you read through the changelog because I haven't gone through each and every small remote feature that they have added. So if you're interested, go ahead and take a look at this with the links in the description below. But huge props to the Cloud Code team for continuously shipping out new great features. I'll leave all these links that I use in today's video in the description below. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. If you haven't already, join the newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really shortly. Peace out, fellas.